Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my Photoshop Modifying Cars episodes. Last episode, we modified a Honda Civic. And to be fair, it actually pulled off quite nice. I kind of liked it. I messed up a little bit um, on the edging of um, the back of the image. Uh, but other than that, I uh, quite enjoyed that one. Uh, so let's go on to uh, your guys' entries. This one's from Peter Beerquist. Um, sorry, I just have to say his name like that. Um, it meant the colour change to a pink. Uh, the car was silver as stock. Um, got rid of the... No, we got a nice little number plate on here as well. Uh, some cool rims on it as well. So, pretty sick uh, with a background change as well. So, that's pretty sick. I uh, really like that one. Um, on to the next one. Brandon McFlain. Uh, he's gone in with a... Oh my god, I, I didn't even notice a spoiler last time. Got in with a spoiler, um, a rim change as well, um, with um, an intercooler. So it's kind of like a race spec uh, with side skirts and rear bumper. So he's gone all out on this. Um, I really like that one to be fair. Uh, looks a lot race spec and it looks very nice. I really like that. Nice entry. Um, and on to the next one, Connor Lifko, and he's gone all out, balls out. Oh my god, look at those rims. <laughs> <laughs> Those rims are crazy. Uh, it's gone out with some proper black window tints, you know, you don't have anyone seeing you. Uh, and an intercooler on the front, so that's pretty sick. Um, really, really, really like the wheels. That's the main bit about that car, the wheels. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> on to the next one. Gone to a nice purple with this Honda Civic. Um, it looks pretty nice in purple, actually. The purple looks interesting, um, it looks different in purple as well. But what works here is the purple little centre caps. I don't know if they were purple to start off with, or he's done that himself. Uh, but that looks absolutely sick. Uh, the rims suit it, and that looks clean as fuck with a nice badge on the front as well. That's looking sick, so yeah. Nice entry there as well. Um, on to the next one, Matthew Dunstan. Oh wow, okay. The body kits are real. Got my name on it. Uh, you don't have to put my name on it, but I appreciate that bro, um, nice front bumper, the fenders, the fenders are hot, uh, with a colour change as well, side skirts, um, I don't know if the rear bumper is different there but it looks absolutely sick, it's got the smoke coming out of the exhaust at the back as well, wow that's that's a good photoshop, I really like that one, um, with some sick rims on it as well that fill out the, uh, um, the fenders, sorry. so that is a really really good entry. That one is sick. Okay, on to the next one. And the last one from Jordan Carter. He's gone out of the sticker bomb, you know. Everyone knows about that sticker bomb life. And I really like the kind of scene. Well, yeah, it's not like scene nowadays because everyone's going into like more clean nowadays. But maybe like two years ago, um, the sticker bomb would have been right at home right there. Um, it looks kind of realistic as well. That's what I like about this entry. It's realistic. Uh, lens change here, uh, nice little stickers here as well, and I, I just the sticker bomb just it works for me. It works so that's sick with some very nice rims on it as well, uh, which work. Sickity sick sick sick. So yeah, thank you very much for the entries um, for this week entries. They the original picture will be in the description below. So grab the original and just get photoshopping and send it into my Twitter, uh, which is Kevin underscore toll which is in the, in the description as well okay so that is that on to the next car and it is going to be a Nissan GTR okay I, I was wondering what car to choose and I was scrolling through pictures and I just saw the background of this, this picture I know we're, we're modifying the car but I saw the background and I was like wow this could look sick so like this GTR modified with that in the background as well this is going to be just wallpaper heaven <laughs> so yeah I think this is going to be a pretty clean build for me um, I'm going to do a couple of things to the body um, the lights uh, we're going to lower it on rims um, maybe window tint but they look pretty dark already so there's no need for that but yeah I think they're going to keep this one clean and just make it a nice nice uh, wallpaper that's what I'm aiming for on this one um, it's all about that wallpaper life, you know. So let's get into this. I'm going to start fast forwarding this. 
and I'm gonna lower, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna modify the shit out of this. Okay, so there we go. Um, the front wheel looks really, really, really sketchy, and I'm kind of tempted to delete it and copy layer two, which is the back wheel, and put it on the front. Uh, but I think it would work a lot, a lot better because the quality is terrible. I don't know why the quality is so bad on that one. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate that layer. Now, I didn't actually plan to do this like when I just stopped. Um, stopped and started speaking uh, but we gotta do it um, it looks really really strange um, so this is something we've got to do in order to make it look okay okay so let's go to perspective is it yeah we want it to get into the rim a little bit more I think that should be okay so if we have it around there, let's make it a bit longer. Maybe a tiny bit fatter as well. Kind of around there, that should look okay. Alright, we need to get it fitting in the top as well. Ah! I just looked at it like when I started recording again. And I was just like, that looks terrible. Okay, so there we go. That looks a lot better. That's a lot better. Okay, so I know we got like the caliper, beh uh, caliper behind here, which is a little bit annoying, uh, but we're gonna have to deal with that. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. Um, but I think we're gonna leave it for now. It, it adds a nice effect, I suppose. Uh, maybe some high rated brakes on the rear, which is cool. Uh, what we are going to do is we're going to delete number plate right now. I don't know why I use that tool. <laughs> oh god. Um, so let's take... Yeah, let's take this. Uh, I was thinking about 
just taking the numbers off of it, but if we just move this up here and copy there, the colours should be pretty similar. So if we control V and I'll move that down. Okay, the colours aren't too different, so we can just um, change the adjustment, uh, change the brightness to match this a little bit. Okay. Not matching up perfect. Okay, that's that looks okay, that colour. Um, and if we just get the rubber, go slightly around the edge. Ah! I didn't make it big enough, did I? That looks okay there. This edge looks a little bit iffy. So let's just remove a bit of that. Ah. Okay, that's kind of annoying actually. Should we do that again? Let's do it again. Um, we we want to make this wallpaper ver uh, worthy, so you know, let's make it a bit wider around around the edge like this, and it'll give us some some space to blend it in a little bit better. Now, a lot of people use like different ways um, to blend it in and stuff, uh, but I just like the good old-fashioned rubber. Seems to work out well for me. Um, so let's move. Oh my god. So let's move layer 4 down, which isn't the whole car. There we go. That's not even that big. What the hell? Let's go back. I know what I've done. Basically, I copied what was on layer 3. <laughs> like, there's nothing even on layer 3. Let's delete that layer and then copy off of uh, off the GTR layer. No, we don't want to copy that though. We want to move it first. So we want. Oh my god, I have fucked up. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on? Let me just. Oh my god. No. Why is it? Why is it copying? I just. I just want to move it. Oh my god. This is just blowing my mind right now. See, this is why I'm not very good at Photoshop. Just just look. For some reason, it's got like the scissors next to the, the moving thing, which is pretty strange. Don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so if we just get rid of that. Just get out, okay? Just get out. Okay, I think it's just going to be easier to just take the numbers off the number. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was gonna smooth over the whole thing, but I guess you know. Let's just let's just go for the the number plate right now. Obviously, you guys are a lot better than me, so you'll be able to maybe smooth that over a <laughs> bit better. Uh, but obviously, I am strapped for time right now as well, so I don't want to do something that is kind of stupid, if you know what I mean. So let's right-click and fill. And colour, and choose that colour. Yeah, the colour, and then choose that colour. Okay, okay. Yeah, that doesn't look too weird. So let's just. Oh my god. Oh, I just coloured it on that layer. Okay, I, th I think that's gonna have to do. Um, if I want this episode to be a good time. Yeah, that doesn't look too weird either, because there isn't too much. Uh, color difference there. Um, I don't know what happened there, my wheel like teleported. Um, so let's just flatten this image down. There we go. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make these a nice kind of like the same as the center. I forgot what it's called. Like Lexus lights kind of. I want to kind of have that effect. I've never actually done it before on a car, so I just want to see what it looks like. If it doesn't look very good, um, we can also always um, just leave it how it is. Um, I was going for the clean look, so kind of happy with how it turned out right now. And so let's just slowly go around the edge of here. Tedious, and I don't have patience, so I always get worse and worse as the circle goes on. Okay, there we go. So now if we go to... 
channel mixer and click monochrome it makes it kind of yeah it hasn't worked very well on this image normally it makes it a very nice kind of kind of color uh, but for some reason it's come out a little bit a little bit weird yeah normally it goes into like a Lexus light color uh, but let's zoom out and see how that looks I don't think it's gonna look too good um, no let's not, let's not do that let's take that off and I think I'm gonna leave the car how it is I like all the badges uh, the badges make this car so oh, what am I doing there we go now get rid of that um, so I think I'm gonna leave that where it is uh, what we are gonna do though is we're gonna slap a nice filter onto this um, so let's go into photo looks and get a nice filter going on here Filter, oh yeah, filter. Okay, that filter looks very nice there actually. So that is 326. Um, so if we work down from 326, I just gotta remember 326 because I know 326 is pretty good. Um, I thought that was gonna look pretty good then. Uh, so let's keep looking through here for a nice one. That, that brings out the white in the car so nice. Oh my god, that looks pretty sick actually. Uh, wait for this to load in. And then it'll be the finished article. Um, this will be available to download in the description. Um, like the finished version, so you can make it your wallpaper. This will probably be my wallpaper as well. Um, you can't really tell that it's been modified in Photoshop. I've gone for like a clean, kind of realistic look. Um, which I have been going for in most of my videos which I do apologize for uh, but when cars look like this that is so much better to me than like a body kitted fucked up car if you know what I mean so I'm going for the clean version um, it's up to you guys now uh, the original is in the description for you guys to have a go to and yeah send your finished article to my Twitter which is in the, is in the description as well and you'll get featured next episode so every car gets featured uh, don't worry if it's rubbish or not um, I always have positive comments to say about it um, and yeah this will be in the description for you guys um, it's going to be my wallpaper for a while and yeah hope you guys kind of enjoyed this and we're coming along in the photoshop um, my photoshops are looking a lot cleaner a lot more realistic which I'm really happy with um, and yeah hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time